Dear Calendar Girl, do you care if I brag on myself for a moment? I'm a decent looking guy with plenty to bring to the table. I have a successful career, I own my own house, my cars, and I have more than a modest savings. My income? Let's just say when I feel the need for a holiday, I can go online and book a first class flight to anywhere in the world and stay in a five star hotel all without batting an eye at the cost. I have everything I could ever need or want, except one thing. Four years ago, I was married to who I thought was my soulmate. She was gorgeous, funny, intelligent, perfect. She could do no wrong in my eyes and I hers. It was a year into our marriage when something shifted and those loving gazes she used to spring on me were long gone. She'd asked me one day what happened to the carefree man she'd fell in love with. I told her he grew up. It wasn't long after that conversation when she found out that she was pregnant and the baby was not mine. It took me two years to decide that I wanted to start dating again after my divorce, but the trust I once had I could no longer offer. Relationships were, to put it politely, simply a means to an end for me. I would whine, dine, love them and leave them. It was after my latest trust that I decided I could not continue on this path. I had hit the ultimate low. I started seeing someone at work. She wanted me for what I had been serving to others, money and the benefits that it carries. What's sad is, I believe I was starting to care for her and I'm fairly sure she just put up with me. All she desired for me was access to my black card and my seven figure income. What sealed the deal was a penthouse and an Aston Martin that I'm still paying for. Fast forward several months later and I meet the most amazing, feisty, fiery woman. She has no idea what I do, where I live, or what I'm worth, yet she wants to spend all of her free time with me. However, I feel myself holding back because it feels like the first time when I fell for my ex-wife. All this beautiful whirlwind wants from me is love and I don't know if I remember how to. All the money I could ever want and I'm fairly sure that I'm emotionally bankrupt. Yours truly, Loveless and Sam Myshuno. Brandy, aka Pixelated Twix, if you're new here. First off, welcome. And if you're an OG, welcome back to my little corner of Elgore's Internet, as well as another episode of uh, Calendar Girl. We're here with Harmony, and she has made her way at, uh, into Willowbrook. Um, she is on a mission, and that mission, uh, should she choose to accept it, which she has, is to locate. Um, a uh Cairo's home uh so she's in stalker mode guys but on her way to his house she discovered this little area called uh the petite villa and um look at this place guys it's in the middle dead center of um oh and it's a heat wave you can see the the heat um in the dead center of willow brook or Willow Creek, Willow Brook, what? Um, where am I at? So anyway, she just stopped at this antique shop. She's not much for antiques. Uh, she does like to refurbish furniture, but I shouldn't say, so she's not, I shouldn't say she's not into antiques, but right now that's not her vibe. It wouldn't fit with um, the aesthetic of her apartment, but uh, she still likes to, to look. Um, so yeah, she decided that she'd get lost for a moment here before she made her way to um pop up at Cairo's house 
Um, this is her dad calling. She'll have to text her dad later. She's on, she's on, um, a mission dad. Oh, check it out. It's Giada. You know what? She's never introduced herself to Giada. Maybe it's high time that we do that because, um, uh, she does go over Giada's house quite often because of Meche and, uh, it's just rude that they've never met. Um, so I'm just going to have them greet. Uh, Gianna seems pretty cool. Um, she's very smart, too. So um, let's just, just chat her up a little bit. Hey, it's a, great to meet you. Finally meet you. I recognized you um, in passing, and we just never got to speak. Um, Gianna said she's heard a lot about Harmony, and... Uh, she's glad that they also finally got to meet and hopefully they can hang out soon. But she's actually on her way uh, elsewhere and Harmony is too. She's tense. Okay, I got it. I get you, Harmony. You don't like strangers. Girl, how do you expect to meet somebody if you're constantly afraid of speaking to people? All right, we're going to uh, hunt down Cairo's house. Okay, so I will meet you guys there when we find it. She has been standing outside here for a while. If you guys remember uh, last week, uh, look at her. She's going to go sit down. She's afraid. She is truly afraid. This is his house, by the way. This is Cairo's house. Look at this neighborhood. This is like the epitome of a uh, French Creole neighborhood. And they've got this cozy house right here right next to this amazing looking mansion i like their house actually a little better because uh, i don't know i just like the the welcoming vibe it has where did she go she went over here somewhere to hide out let me oh she went to go lay down really okay um she's tired but we're gonna wake her up because we're just rude like that but yeah she's been gathering her courage to go go knock on the door just because last week, Cairo made it plain and simple that he was... Oh, I hear I heard you became friends with Cree LaRue. Oh, yeah. She did uh, meet his sister. Uh, she didn't know that it was her sister. Uh, Cree was Cairo's sister. Um, but anyways, uh, so she had this conversation with Cairo. Um, he more or less just said, look, um, I know that you're seeing Adam, but, um, I would like to make things exclusive between us. I don't know how serious about him, but if you want to, um, pursue anything with me, you've got to shut that down. So she agreed that this was something that she needed to do. However, she has not done that yet. Um, she's still searching for whatever reason, uh, with it's she's still searching for something from Adam. I don't know if it's answers or what. It looks like his sister's home. I don't know if he's home or not. So we'll find out. Okay, so she's finally got the gumption to knock on the door. So let's see how this goes. Girl, bring your tail over here. Oh, she walked right on in. Okay, come on in. Come on in. Let's bring the walls down. Um, there is Curry sitting here watching TV. Why don't you go over here and give a friendly greet? Hey girl, it's nice to see you again. I'm so glad that um you finally came over and finally found the house. Yeah, it it took me a minute to actually gather the courage to come see you. I hate to admit it, but yeah, I mean I came to see your brother, but you know, of course I know you came to see him, but I'm glad you did. Uh uh make it um yeah i'm not really into pop-ups i know i should have called before i showed up but i don't think i would have mustered the courage to do so had i but is he home by any chance um you know what i'm not sure i haven't seen him i think he may be out it does look like cairo is not home Oh, well, well, I guess we can just sit and talk for a little bit and get to know each other while, you know, um, lie about career. Okay. Hey, I have to ask you something. I know that you are a writer. Kairos told me a little bit about you. Do you happen to know the lady 
that writes for um, Simlish. No, I do not. Where does she go? Oh, there. You know how girls talk. We talk through the bathroom walls or bathroom doors. You know how we do. We'll we'll talk and have a whole conversation in the bathroom while someone's using the bathroom. That's just the way we are. But yeah, she miraculously is talking through this wall. <laughs> uh, she's clean. She washes hands. We can eat anything you make, girl. You wash your hands right after you cook. Uh, but yeah, I wanted to know if you knew um, the calendar, girl. I'm really, really interested um, in knowing about her. She seems a really really knowledgeable about dating and i need some advice from her myself no i don't know her uh harmony is having to lie about her career because she doesn't want anyone to know that she is a calendar girl and if she were to divulge that she's an actual writer for a simlish magazine people will probably try to put put two and two together but she has made it a point to except for mercedes to um mercedes doesn't know that she's calendar girl either anyway so she's in here wash her hands for what i guess she's ready to eat is she hungry no she's not but she's tired all right so it doesn't look like kyra is going to show up anytime soon and i don't want to prolong the conversation between she and Cree. um but she does have a great reputation all of a sudden what okay and she's got some fame Anyway, so yeah, I hate lying to Cairo's sister. This is not a great way to get started, uh, get a relationship started. But like I said, she wants to keep her um, her pen name a secret. So yeah. All right, so we're going to go ahead and have her. Oh, wait, there's Cairo. He's standing outside. Why is he standing outside? He probably saw her through the window and was like, what is she doing here? Um, let's just come out here and greet him. And look at the stairs. Stairs disappear, guys. Look, it's happening again. <laughs> what the heck? I don't know what that's about. Hey, hey, how's it going? What are you doing here? Yeah, well, okay. Funny story. Your sister told me that I should stop by and I just thought today would be a great day to do that. I told her the same thing I'm getting ready to tell you. I'm really sorry that I didn't call ahead of time, but I thought I'd take the chance because I didn't think that I would actually just come over. Well, I'm glad to see you. Um, oh, he's feeling awfully flirty for whatever reason. I don't know, but we're going to go right along with it. We're going to flirt right back. Well, I'm really glad to see you. I'm glad that you stopped by. I, I was actually thinking about you, so... It's just funny that you're here. Yeah, I was thinking about you too. Um, so I'm, I'm actually glad that I, I did come. And um, I, I was really worried that you would not want to see me. No, I am. I'm actually glad to see you. But uh, I got to get going. Maybe we could talk later. I'll give you a call. Okay, I will see you later. Ciao. All right. So, um, Harmony, you, where are you going? You're going home, babe. You're going home. It's late. It's midnight. You don't want to overstay your welcome. Oh, it is starting to rain too. Yeah. It's time for her to go home. So I'll see you guys, uh, at the apartment. Good morning. Send my shoe now. It is the morning and she is a wide awake and raring to go. She has, um, Harmony has some, um, <laughs> some business to take care of today so this is going to be a oh she's got a pair of bills this is going to be a week of getting um of pop-ups so she stopped by Cairo's yesterday and she didn't get to really talk to him for very long considering that it was late but um I didn't reject the content what did we have something no oh. All right, so um, we're going to check for our gigs while we're talking. But anyway, so yes, yeah, so she um, she has a mind to check up on Adam. So her main goal is just to be nosy and see where he's, he's, he's what he's working with. Um, but mostly her second goal is to actually have a conversation with him about 
um, where they are going, um, where they're planning to go, simply because Adam has been very hot and cold with her, and she's tired of feeling like he's not completely there. She's tired of the roller um, emotional roller coaster that he's taking her through, but she also knows the signs of a man that is guarded. Um, so she would, is going to try to get information from him as much as she possibly can to see what's going on in his head. Um, Adam doesn't seem to be like an easy case to crack, but she's still going to do that. She's going to try anyways. Um, we're going to check for um, some assignments right now uh, before we leave. So I'm thinking we're going to take this. Wait. I think we're going to take this. Need writers to extend universe. Uh, Solstice Comics is looking to contract a freelance writer to help expand upon the universe of our mini fan favorite series. During your project, you will be working closely with our brand managers and series writers to ensure the content provided matches with the tone and feel of the comics and provides details that can be used for future storyline or characters. So this is paying out 2,375 simoleons and is due by Thursday. Um, what day is it? It's Tuesday. Okay, so she's got a couple days. We'll go ahead and take that gig. Um, she's already had her breakfast. Things like, oh, man. And we'll just go ahead and replace it. Um, I mean, we have a little money in the bank. We can do that. All right, so I guess she's going to go do laundry. Um, oh, look, do -see, look. Oh, okay, I was going to say she is at the um, mailbox, but she's not. She's at the, why is she always over here, too? At the trash. What is she doing? Girl, those clothes are filthy. What are you doing? Do the laundry. Add those to the washing machine. Why would you put full dirty clothes up and put them on the table? What is wrong with you? Girl, your mind is on Adam and you need to focus. Let's let's reevaluate <laughs> and refocus. Uh, yeah. Come on, girl. Get it together. Get it together. We have things to do, and I need you um, on full alert. Okay, so let's um, have her Google Adam, see where he lives. So that's what she's doing now is Googling his address. She knows his last name, and he seems to be the only Adam Black uh, that is a new crest. So easy enough to find. She's going to go ahead and... Uh, grab that address and head over to his house so we'll see you guys when we get there okay adam's home look at him he's in there watching tv oh my gosh okay okay you know what to do girl you just need to walk up where are you going walk up knock on his door he, he he's he's ready to he's ready for you <laughs> uh she's a little more confident about walking into adam's house um i don't know why but she didn't need to go lay down and, and think about it. All right, he's a little surprised to see her, but um, not really paying attention. Are you going to greet her or what? Are you just going to have her standing by the door? Um, okay, there we go, finally. Hey, what are you doing here? I actually came by to see you. I know this is an, an impromptu visit, and I really wasn't um, given your address, but okay, I'm on some stalker stuff. I, I did stalk you, I'm not going to lie, but I really wanted to come see you, and I hope that's okay. No, actually, I'm kind of flattered. I'm, I'm glad that you you came by. Um, yeah, it's a nice little uh, surprise. Um, hey. Oh, I, I've got to get ready for work. i got to head out, but make yourself comfortable. Okay. All right. We're going to make ourselves comfortable. We surely are. He just left us here all by our lonesome. Uh, so we're going to go have a look-see and um, go go and, um, you know, look in his bathroom, check things out. He's really clean. Like, really clean. Yeah, everything looks kosher in here. I'm I'm just surprised how clean this guy is. Uh, let's go in his room. Nice bed. Can we sit on it? 
Let's sit on his bed. Let's see how comfortable his bed is. Oh, nice. Very nice. Um, I am a little curious about these women's clothes over here, though. Oh, shoot. Is he home? No, that was her. Okay. Um, let me go over here and uh, see what's going on here. There's um, a briefcase here. I don't know if that's a purse or what, or is this a satchel? But the women's clothing, there's a, a dress, a cardigan, and a, a top. Um, the shoes aren't, there aren't any female shoes here. That's a good sign. But these clothing, these clothes, I'm a little curious about. And uh, Harmony is extremely worried about this. This is um, interesting. There's still, it looks like there was a female that either lives here or once lived here. Um, the flowers, the picture of the butterfly doesn't seem to suit Adam, Adam's style. This looks like a house that was decorated by uh, a female, and um, I'm uh, a little curious. Okay, well, he's not here, so there's not much we can do um, as far as like asking him what's going on. So I guess this was kind of a this was kind of a bust as far as like getting to. Um, getting in Adam's head, but I, we will save that conversation for another date. So Cairo had Harmony uh, meet him at one of his favorite spots. It's this little diner here in um, Magnolia Promenade. Um, it's really kind of cute. It's old-fashioned diner, and they have really good food. Um, she is all about the, um, the greasy French fries and hamburgers. So they're going to request a table. Maybe we can find something out here, hopefully, because she's not really feeling like sitting at the bar. She wants to spend some time talking to him and like in a quiet, there's pregnant lady. She keeps showing up. There's our dad. <laughs> there's our mom. What's going on? I feel like our parents are stalking us. I really do. Look at, he pulled out his guitar. Cairo, now is not the time. We're on a date. I, I totally totally love you for that you know that you you're you're creative and you're musically inclined but um not right now dude not right now okay so we're gonna sit down and and enjoy our meal um she's just uh, going to pretend her parents aren't here even though look her dad is a weird looking look at dad his dad was like peeking around the umbrella like what you doing over there <laughs> That is something my dad would do. <laughs> Are we going to order for the table? See what's on the menu. See what's good. All right. So this looks actually pretty tasty. We've got some side dishes and the all-American goodies. Uh, she totally turned down that hot dog at the fair, or the con, so we're not going to have a hot dog. Um, she's feeling like a BLT. I don't know about you. That is one expensive BLT. What is that made of? That better be like some, like a golden pig, you know, with that bacon. That bacon better be golden. That better be handmade um, mail shipped in from the, the mountains of Italy. <laughs> what kind of BLT costs 27 simoleons? Wow. Okay. This is in a really high class diner. Um, what are you going to eat? Um, ooh, gumbo. He's going to be really picky about gumbo because, he, um, Cairo is, his, um, background, his ethnicity is, um, Creole, French Creole, but he's, he knows that their gumbo here is really good, which is why he continues to come back. So he's going to order the, his favorite meal, which is the gumbo. Um, it reminds him of his grandma. That's actually where he and his sister live is in their, his grandma's old, their grandma's old house. She left it to him when she passed. Um, she's the one that raised them. So she's going to, what are you doing? 
I'm just gonna use the restroom. What? Wait a minute. Harmony just got a text from Dosi. What's up, Harmony? One of my friends heard about how great you are and has been asking to meet you. Can I give them your number? Hold up. Wait a minute. Stop the presses. What? <laughs> wait a minute. What? Who? Who's been trying to meet me? Now we're like alarm bells are going off. Who is Dosi? Do first of all, we know Dosi is up to something because she's hacking. She's got a whole server in her room. She already admitted to hacking um, computers and systems and things like that. So I'm a little leery about what kind of friends she's trying to hook Harmony up with. But Harmony is one of those people that feels like it's okay to d date multiple people at one time because she likes to keep her options open. And she likes to have people lined up just in case one doesn't work out. I know some people are totally against that, but she doesn't mind just having friends. And this is, in this case, a perfect opportunity for her to meet a new friend. So, Dosi, we're all about that. Okay, we're just going to send her a text message to say, you know what? Okay, go ahead and send that person my number. It's okay to text, but nothing else. Don't give them any more information than my name and my phone number okay so she's gonna come back out here and sit with Cairo. girl not like you just grabbed somebody's number he really likes her i hope she doesn't do him wrong look at him romantic interest she likes him too though why is she embarrassed socially awkward girl get over it ask about <laughs> Let's get about this day. Hey, you know what? It was really nice meeting your sister. I meant to tell you that I'd met her um, a few days ago. She's really sweet. Yeah, she is. <laughs> Try living with her. Um, I've been taking care of her since I can remember. So are you guys twins? Um, oops. Yeah, actually we are. Um, I'm older by five minutes. Um, and our parents... Uh, they passed when we were very, very young and we ended up moving in with our grandmother. And so I've just kind of been the man of the house and I've been taking care of her and I took care of my grandmother up until the time she passed. Oh, I'm really sorry to hear about that. That's really, really, I'm really sorry. I'll have him ask for reassurance. No, it's okay. Thank you. Um, it, it, um, it hurts sometimes, but, you know, um, we're, we're doing okay. Well, that's good to know. Um, can I just say that I really do like you, and I know what you said to me yes the other day about making sure I close this chapter in my life with Adam, and I just want to tell you that I do plan... What?! Mac Carrier, Harmony, I've heard so many good things about you. I'd love, wait, what? That went by too fast. Who was Mac McCarrier? And why does he look like, <laughs> he's like my, how, how old is he? This better not be Dosey. This Dosey, this better not be you. This better not be you. This is him. He's an elder. Do <laughs> Dosey, you, have, you are so fired. So fired for this. I'm so mad at that. I am so mad at Dosey for this. Uh, okay, I'm sorry. Let's, let's get back to this conversation. Yes, I um, I um, <laughs> she just threw me completely off. What? What is even that? How do you hook us up with somebody that's old enough to be our grandfather? Older than, older than our parents, even. What in the world? Is this him down here? Okay, I was about to say. <laughs> okay, so back into the mood. Um, yeah, so I, I want to tell you, I, I, I want to be honest with you. Um, I haven't gotten a chance to talk to him. I did go over his house, and um, we didn't get a chance to speak because he had something better to do, which was work, and I understand that. But I, I... I do like you, and I want to be completely honest. When did they eat? Did they eat? Hey, I'm glad you're honest with me. I'm so glad, and um, I appreciate the honesty, and I um, 
I do mean it. I really want to get to know you and see where this goes. But I will be cautious with you up and you know until you um, make that move. Okay. Well, is that the end of the conversation? Oh, he's going to use the restroom, and she is still talking. Um, <clears throat> girl, we need to talk to your friend Dosi because she is really bogus about Mac. She is so focused about him. So as soon as this date is over, we are going over Dosi's house and we are definitely going to have a long conversation with her. Um, but where is he at? Did he leave? I mean, I want to give him his privacy. Okay, he's in the bathroom. He's clean, washing his hands. I know you guys are probably like, why is she so enthusiastic about people washing their hands? Because I'm that person. Like, I believe in washing your hands before you go in my refrigerator, before you touch anything in the kitchen. Oh, gosh. Because my mother is like that. Did My mother would be like, if you touch the refrigerator, did you wash your hands? <laughs> so I'm that way, too. All right. He keeps getting up. All right, so you know what? Let's let's um take this elsewhere. Oh, this place is so pretty. Let's take this elsewhere. Who is this? He looks mad. What is going on? Okay, Harmony's like, I don't I don't know what's going on. Pretend like I'm not here. He's trying to calm him down for whatever reason. Who is this dude? Harmony's like, what is going on here? This guy is really livid with him. And Cairo is really playing it off smooth. Like, this guy, he won't leave it alone. Okay, what was that about? Yeah, let's let's ask him. Dude, what what was that about? Oh, uh, don't worry about it. it it's, <laughs> it's about my ex girlfriend and uh that's her brother oh okay well all right then um let's take this elsewhere let's pay for our meal and uh head out but 27 dollar uh wait a minute give up table we never got our food of didn't i just see i swear i saw the waitress clear the table of dishes did he leave He left. Harmony. <laughs> are, are you okay with that? He just bounced. I, I, okay, well. All right then. I guess we're going home. Never mind about the romantic walk that we had planned. Um, Is it too late to go over? Yeah, it is too late to go over our friend's house. Girl, you look mad. I'm sorry. So I had to pause the game before I got back in because she just woke up and she started to um, get some work done and we're start working on this, this assignment that she picked up for the comic book. And lo and behold, Mr. Black has decided to give us a ring. He's like, hey, I heard there's someone famous over at the lounge. Would you like to check it out? Now, I believe the lounge is where we met Enrique. So I know there was, I believe it was um, Sunkissed Peony. She wanted me to go back to the lounge and check it out, see if there was any other potentials there, which I, I haven't forgotten about that because that is like the hot spot. So I'm not sure if this is the place or not, but... She really needs to speak to Adam and she because she was so forthright with um with Cairo and he up and left this yesterday. I think he was a little I think Cairo tried to play it off, but I do believe that he was a little bit upset that she had not spoken to Adam yet and he probably feels like she wasn't trying hard enough, but she did show up at his house. Now her intention was not to break it off with Adam. She wanted to see where his head was at. But that time spent with Cairo, she felt like, you know, she really needed to be honest with him. And she wanted to try to take it further, even though she was still trying to get a number. Uh, Mac Carrier. <laughs> Grandpa Mac. Papa Mac. Mac Daddy. 
<laughs> okay, okay, I'm, I'm done, I'm done. All right, so we're going to go ahead, shower. Oh, did she take a shower? I mean, she's good. <sighs> I hate to, like, not go over, go over there and just, like, not take a shower. But we're going to go ahead and meet him. Um, Orchid, okay, this is or Orchid Agogo. So this is over in Del Sol Valley. I mean, this is a long way away. Let's just go. Let's see what's going on. Hey, I'm glad you came. I know it's the last minute and it's super early in the morning. Honey, it is very early. It's 10 o'clock. It's before noon and we're at a lounge already. There can't be a lot of people here. Who is that all dressed in black? What the paparazzi? Oh, great. She must be the celebrity. Is she the celebrity? No, she's not. She's a fan. Who is the celebrity? Are you? The llama suit. Okay. Anyways. Oh, okay. Um... <clears throat> Oh, look, she's bald with barrettes in her hair. <laughs> I know what CC that is. I'll, I'll make sure I replace that. Anyways, Adam, are you stressed, hon? What, are you, is that why you're doing sit-ups? Um, yeah, we'll go in. Okay, we'll, we'll just go in. It, I, it was a little dead here when we first got here. Uh, I don't, this was probably a bad idea. The last time we came here, people were fainting all over the place. And it froze up on us because... For whatever reason, I don't know. Um, but let's come in here and I guess grab a drink. Let, can we talk? Let's order. Let's order food because she's hungry. Now, I was watching Keo Sims, um, her LP. Oh, who is this? <gasps> Hello. You are super cute. Um, girl, come over here and introduce yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Come over here and introduce yourself real quick. I mean, just be be slick about it. Adam's over here. He doesn't matter anymore. Uh, just just introduce yourself. He's cute. He's got. You've got to at least introduce yourself so he'll be on your calling card later. <laughs> so bad. I'm so bad. Hi. How are you? Fancy meeting you here. Do you hit me? Come here off. <laughs> that is so good. <laughs> oh, hello. He's nice looking. He's got a nice little smile. Um, don't know where he came from, but uh, he is super cute. His name is William Debonair. Nice name. Anyways, um, let's order some food. But I was saying before I, I got so um, sidetracked, ADD for the win. Um, let's get a meat and cheese platter. That um, I noticed that my Sims did not eat yesterday. The food didn't even come. At least I don't think it did. It may have, and I just didn't notice. Uh, girl, what is the men in black doing here? Um, I don't know if that's a glitch or whatever, but they did not eat at all. And so she came home super hungry, and I just sent her to bed. So we're going to have her eat now. Um, let's invite... Let's have um, Adam come in and grab a serving, too. Okay, he is completely enamored by someone else. He's talking to a paparazzi. What's going on? You know, I just thought about something. He is a secret agent, right? What if he moonlights as, like, a bouncer? Not a bouncer, but security. So, I mean, it would make sense that he invited her here when he's probably doing security for this this lady here. Uh, ra, ra, I don't... I'm not going to say that name. Hawkins? I can say that. Um, look at him. <laughs> so, um, yeah, maybe that's what he's doing and he just wanted some company. But, I mean, let's let's vent. Um, she's not in a great mood. Look at that. First of all, she's surrounded by strangers. Secondly, um, she's surrounded by a bunch of fan crazed strangers and she's just not really happy about this this whole venue and this date if you want to call this a date because I, I don't really call this a date per se she's like I'm just not feeling comfortable right now I'm I wanted to get a chance to talk to you and I thought maybe we were going to talk but there's absolutely no way we're going to be able to have a conversation here maybe they can come sit over here um can we come sit over here together? Yeah. Let's come over here and sit together. And it's a little quieter, quiet, quiet over here. Use your vowels. Um, hello? Can we? Oh, uh, okay. Let's remove this. Dude, it's not that serious. 
I don't even know who she is. Um, is he gonna come over here? Yeah, he's bringing his plate. No. Come and sit here together. Is he coming? No. He's got a job to do. And this is the second time she's not been able to um, get him alone to talk to him. So this is what we're going to do. We're just going to assume that it's done and over with because, frankly, she's just really perturbed. <clears throat> Excuse me. Look at her face. She is not happy. She is livid right now. Um, this was not the place to bring her, and he should have known that. She doesn't do well in crowds, and this isn't a large crowd, but this is like, what does dude have on? <laughs> <laughs> wow yeah okay so yeah she's getting angrier and tenser by the moment so we're just going we're going to dismiss ourselves um oh look there's Cree oh Cree you are a lifesaver honey and there's um Corey oh friendly faces maybe we could stay maybe we can hang out with them Let's do that. Let's come over here and talk to them. Greet them. I didn't know that Cree knew uh, Corey. That's interesting. Oh my gosh, you guys are lifesavers. I'm so glad to see you. I just was not having a great time. I was invited here by Adam and... Oh, thank you. Oh, no. She was invited here by Adam and this is Cree. A, a Cree. Oh, gosh. Oh gosh, where's Adam? Where's Adam? Adam's gone. Adam's gone. Adam's gone? He is gone. I think we're officially done with Adam, guys. He he left us high and dry. And um, we just, yeah, we're done. Okay, this is a great time for her to um, chop it up with uh, her friends. So why don't we go hang out? She is hungry. She really needs to take a shower. But she's still kind of hungry. She can leave this here. She's just not feeling the vibe of this place. So why don't we form a group? Um, let's form a group with Cree um, and Corey. And let's get out of here, guys. You know, it's $50 to request a table here. We're at the Hard Rock Cafe. And um, yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a much. This is a cool place. Oh, they can come out here and eat. Really cool. Oh, what a view. This is in Willow Creek. Um, this place was actually a, uh, suggested by Cree. Um, she loves this place. And I don't know. I was going to say, I don't know where Corey went. But um, look, she got, she all cleaned up. And um, so we're going to try to do this again. We're actually going to try and order food again. Um, so let's go out, out guys and get some Sinsmapolitans for the group. Um, and, oh, so this is like the experimental food. Um, yeah. Oh, okay. Well, let's, mm. okay. This sounds safe. Tiger shrimp. So we're, we'll get that for Harmony, and I would think that Cree would like the Artisan Fish Trio, and maybe Corey would go for the Volcanic Pasta. Well, no, Corey's an actress, so she's going to go with something. She's not going to go for carbs, so the pasta's out. I would think that she would go with cubed, i.e. with um, veggie wasabi matrix because it's, you know, seafood and vegetables. Ooh, this place is, this place is decently priced. I mean, I can see the prices for this place being what they are, but the, the diner that Cairo had us at and we had to pay? No. <laughs> no. Absolutely not. Nuh-uh. So, you guys, I just really want to thank you for um, 
showing up when you did. You guys have been lifesavers without even realizing it. I just was not comfortable where I was at. And I was trying to actually break it off with um, Adam. Cree, you don't know him, but your brother does. And I had been seeing him before I started seeing your brother. And I promised your brother that I would in that uh, relationship before we got too serious. Well, I'm glad you made that decision on your own. <laughs> I know my brother can be quite demanding when he's serious about something, um, but I tell you what, he's worth it. He's a good guy, and um, and I know that you, you're you a, a good person. You seem like it, so you're both very lucky to have each other. Um who is the Zac Efron wanna be over here? <laughs> Sorry. Okay, let me stop being so nosy. Um Corey is like, um, yeah, I've been trying to get Cree to hook me up with her brother for the longest, but she refuses because you're an actress and you're above his station in, in so many ways. Not that you're any better than him, but you're an actress and he needs time. Um, he needs quality time and you don't have it. Um, you're constantly gone. I can barely get you to come out and sit down and eat. So Corey's um, admitted that she's had a crush on Cairo for a while. Interesting. Um, so let's ask about her. Let's, let's ask about her relationship with Cairo. Okay, we can't. Hmm. Maybe we can fix her up with someone. Uh, bro, you are constantly having to use the bathroom. Okay, let's let's see if we can fix her up with someone. Corey seems like a really cool person. I would like to see her with... Um, hook her up with. Who can we hook her up with, though? Who is this guy? Bill Anders. I don't know who that is. I don't even know who these people are that I'm trying to hook her up with. Braxton Moore? Yeah, no, we don't know anybody. Sorry, Corey, we don't know anybody. Um, oh, food's here. It's all pipe. Is this hot or cold? I assume that's just steam. <laughs> Let me cheat up her her bladder a little bit because I don't want her like having an accident here and she's enjoying her time with her girls. So, yeah, I'm going to have her chat it up with them a little bit more. Um, I honestly don't have anyone to hook up either girls with. Sadly, she just doesn't know anybody outside of the people that she's been seeing. Wait a minute. She won't fix Corey up with Adam? Just, I'm not going to, but I just want to see. Um, Hook up with. No, she can't hook her up with Corey. Maybe because Corey doesn't know them. Maybe that's what it is. Can you talk up another sim? Oh, she knows. <gasps> okay. Let's fix her up with the guy at the job. We know Ethan. I mean, Ethan's really cute. And yeah. Let me see. Is there? Oh, but Aaron's a good. Aaron might be a good choice for her too. Hmm. No, I think Aaron would be great for Cree. Okay, let's hook Corey up with Ethan, and then let's hook up Cree with Aaron. I think Aaron and Cree would make a great couple, only because. Aaron is very artsy. He's a photographer. He's good looking. He plays a musician. Um, and she's pretty um, creative too, I think. I don't know. What do we know about her? Uh, we're just going to hook her up anyways. <laughs> we'll think about that later. <laughs> Let's hook her up. Oh, she doesn't know him. No, we can't hook you up. Okay, well, we're going to fix you up. We'll get to that. But let's let's get to know her a little bit. What do we know about her? She's a bookworm. Okay. All right. So we can't hook up Cree with anybody, but we're definitely going to keep Aaron in the back of our head for um, Cree. We've definitely got to get them in the same room somehow. Maybe we have a party or something. Nothing at the actual apartment, but maybe we can 
have a party or, you know, the holidays will be around the corner soon. Office party. That's what I'm thinking. I think it would be great to, um, to, um, invite Cree. Yeah. So let's just hope we're still in good standing with Cairo by then. All right. So anyways, I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here, guys. I do hope you enjoyed um, this portion of Calendar Girl. Let me know in the comments what you think about her um, revelation with Adam, what you think about Cairo leaving the scene, and what you think about my choices for um, Corey and Cree. Do you think maybe I should fix Cree up with, um, with what? And uh, the Malone guy from our, our job, or do you think Aaron would be a perfect fit? I don't know. Lots of questions. Just let me know what you think. Also, if you're not a member of our family and you want to become a part of the family reunion, definitely hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you know every time I upload. I upload at least three times a week. All right, guys. Until next time, I'll see you later. Ciao.